Hi Mavericks, it's Mrs. Troutwine and we are here for another great lesson in math where we are going to learn and explore measurement. And today we're actually going to be um, talking about standard measurement and what's called non-standard measurement. Um, and the activity that we're going to do today is actually has to do with non-standard measurement. But we're going to first start off with um, standard. All right, so go ahead and get out your bow and arrow so we can um, hit our learning target. It says, I can measure objects with same size length units. Pew! Excellent. All right. So people used to measure things with their hands, their fingers, or feet for length. Now I want you to think for a couple or a couple of seconds. I want you to think, why is that not the best way to measure something? So people in the past would say, okay, let's see. I need to measure um, how long to cut this piece of wood, and they might put their hands like this and say, okay, how many hands did that take? Or I want to measure. Um, how tall my sheep is. So I'm going to measure it with um, these bricks I made. And they might stack those on top of each other. It's like, okay, it's this many bricks. But why do you think measuring with hands or with feet might not be the absolute best way to measure something? So I want you to think about that for a second. And then I want you to whisper it to Ms. Troutline, okay? Interesting thought, interesting thought. And I have to agree with you. I think if I went and told Pearl to go measure how long our house is, she has these teeny tiny little hands. And Mrs. Trowine has big, big hands. And Luke has, my husband has even bigger hands. Well, not that big, <laughs> has even bigger hands. And so that would not be what we call a standard way to measure something. A standard way to measure something is when everything is the same length across the board. So you could tell someone across the world, you could say, um, oh, my, um, let's see, my car, is 16 feet, which is 12 inches long, and not have to say, oh, my car is 34 hands long, because their size hands and my size hands are very different. And so that would not be a great way to measure something. So we're going to watch a quick little video um, on the different types of measurement that are available um, and that we're going to be learning about in the future. Okay, here we go. Measurements. We measure things so that we can know how big or small they are. Measuring can help us when we are building houses, cooking, playing games, and tons more. Let's look at how we can measure some objects. One thing that people measure a lot is length. In the United States and many other places, length is measured in inches, feet, yards, or miles. We use length to measure things like shapes, distances, and our own height. We measure liquids using volume. We measure volume using teaspoons, tablespoons, cups, quarts, and gallons. We use volume to measure things like ingredients, oil, and water. One more thing we measure is mass. Mass is measured using ounces, pounds, and tons. We use mass to measure things like gold, ourselves, and animals or cars. What are your favorite things to measure? Thanks for watching. All right, excellent. So, um, in if we were in school right now, we would each get um, a ruler and measure different strips of ribbon. And if you happen to have a ruler at home, that's great. Um, I definitely brought mine to school, and so it's definitely still there. <laughs> so, um, but that's okay. We're just going to roll with it. But if you happen to have a ruler or if your family has like a measuring tape or something like that, a fun activity to do is to um, 
cut different lengths of, of ribbon and to um, measure them with the inch side of your ruler. And so the inch side you can see right here, and this is actually a pretty realistic length of an inch about right here, but you'll notice on your ruler that it is a standard length of measurement. And so an inch in um, the United States is the same as an inch in Australia. So they're standard in the same length. And so um, it's fun just to measure different um, uh, strips of ribbon and um, write down how many inches they are. All right. Um, so another activity that we would do at school. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, um, so at school, we would have done a worksheet page that looks like this. Um, and we would measure it using paper clips. And so what I want you to do is I want you to find something in your house, objects that you could use paper clips and this happens to be the only paper clip I have in our house <laughs> and so I can't necessarily use paper clips in my activity because I only have one of them um, so instead what I did is I grabbed um, I borrowed from Olive's um, piggy bank I'll give them back um, I borrowed some pennies. And so although you won't in the real world be using pennies necessarily to measure things, it's a great way to practice how to measure using something that is a standard size. And so the size of a penny um, in California and the size of a penny in Colorado are all the same. So we call that a standard size of something. Um, and then what I want you to do is I want you to go on a little hunt around your house. And I want you to find four or five different objects that are not too gigantic, but would fit on a um, would fit on a strip of paper, okay? And so remember, anytime we say to use paper, um, feel free to use just a scrap piece of paper or, you know, a um, shopping bag, a brown shopping bag, whatever you have that you can measure. And what I want you to do is I want you to grab five different objects, four or five different objects. And I want you to pull up a potato without telling you what I'm doing with it. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to lay it on your sheet of paper and I want you to trace around it with your pencil. So I'm gonna do that really quickly with my potato. And then I'll let you go ahead and do this activity. So I'm gonna trace all the way around my potato. <laughs> Isn't it funny the things that we would have at home are very much so not the things we would see at school. <laughs> you don't see a potato every day at school. Okay, so you can see here that we have our potato. And so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kind of see if I can use this as kind of like a little dot cam. Okay, so with my potato, I am going to draw a line at the beginning of it okay so i'm going to draw a line just straight down just like this okay and i'm going to get a better marker too <laughs> all right so i'm going to draw a line just like this at the beginning of my potato and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to see how many pennies it takes to go all the way across now you'll see a couple of ways that I should not do this activity. If I start to measure how many pennies it takes to get all the way across, would it make sense to start my pennies in the middle of my potato drawing? No, not so much. We wanna make sure that our start point is all the way over here to the left. If you happen to be doing this with a, um, an actual ruler, fantastic. If you do this with an actual ruler, the same thing applies. You're gonna line that ruler up flush right here with this side on the left and then you're going to go and lay your next penny is it okay to lay my next penny right here no good excellent you probably noticed that i needed to line my penny up touching my other penny just like that okay let's see just like so and i want to make sure that I go all the way across. Am I finished now? Nope, I haven't hit the other side of that potato. So I have to do another one. Now, I have to see, does it, um, 
Is it, how many full pennies is it all the way across? Let's see, help me count. One, two, three, four pennies all the way across. But you'll notice that this penny is cut, it's about a half of that penny. So if I had to tell you how many pennies it is all the way across, I would say it was four and a half. And that's upside down, I can tell that now. <laughs> Um, that would be four and a half pennies long. Another way to write four and a half is like this. That's our symbol. It's one out of two or a half, one and a half pennies long. So you get the idea of the um, activity. You're going to choose five items from around the house. They could be things like a minchie spoon. <laughs> Remember, you're going to lay it on the piece of paper, trace it, and then use your measurement tool. It might be a paper clip if you have enough of those. It might be an actual ruler with inches on it. Um, it might be, I'm trying to think of something else that would be standard. Maybe you have dice from a game. That would be a standard size all the way across. But you're going to find those objects. You're going to trace the objects and you are going to measure them um, just like we did in the example. All right, friends, I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson and um, have a great day. Bye, Mavericks.